Hello everyone, here with my first ever video. Today I'm gonna show you guys the best AMD settings that I use that give me the best performance. Let's go right into the video. So first of all, what you will want to do is actually go to the settings first, AMD Radeon software. Then first of all, we will want to make a reset. Uh, so yeah, go to settings here, uh, go to system and then go ahead here, factory reset and perform the reset. Yeah, and hit proceed. After you hit proceed, this is gonna pop up, so what you will want to do here is actually skip it, don't make anything there. After you did that, you will want to go to gaming, and then go ahead and uh, you will choose to make uh, your settings for one game. For example, I will choose to make my CSGO uh, gra graphics and settings, but I will choose ra rather to do the global graphics, and this will be into my all of the games and also the desktop, so yeah. Here what you will want to do first of all is actually set your graphics profile to eSports. So yeah, after you did that, uh, go ahead and uh, make uh, these uh, settings under here, just like I will make them. So first of all, Radon Anti-Lag, you will want it to be enabled. This will give you the best input lag. Uh, Radon Chill, you want it to be disabled. Uh, Radon Boost, you will want it disabled. So for Radon Image Sharpening, you will want to keep it enabled. And uh, you will want to move around with this. I like for me to keep it to 80%, but you could keep it to 90, 100, even go less than 80, you could keep it to 60 or 70. But I personally like to keep it to 100 anything else is just too much or too less so for red and enhanced since you'll want it to disable wait for vertical refresh so this is your vsync you'll want to keep this always off and then go ahead and pop the advanced tab here and uh, go to anti-aliasing I, I like to use this use application settings it just gives a little bit more you know anti-aliasing it makes them look more blurry but if I go ahead and make this override and make this to 2x this will make things like have light in the corners and you could spot things better but it will kind of give you the type of feeling like you have so less FPS and yeah I, don't, I like to keep this uh, use application settings it makes me feel like my game is going much smoother. If you go into anti-aliasing method, you will want to keep this multi-sampling, morphological anti-aliasing disabled, anisotropic filtering disabled, texture filtering quality, we're, we're gonna make it performance of course, surface format optimization enabled. So for tessellation mode, for more FPS you could do make it off, but what I like to do is actually set it to 8. I would like to have a little bit of better uh, image quality from me, so yeah. Uh, OpenGL triple buffering disabled uh, and don't uh, graphics here uh, GPU workload graphics and yeah what you will want to do with reset shader catch is you will want to come here every week once and uh, make a perform reset so yeah this was pretty much what you're gonna make here then you're gonna want to move to the next tab in the display tab so what you are gonna want to do here this is your freezing and uh, I keep it disabled because I play mostly CSGO and for CSGO you don't need this because this kind of gives you more input lag and uh, yes it does make you, you go more smoother but I need that better input lag for CSGO but if you have like esports games like if you play games with less FPS uh, you will want to keep this enabled it will give uh, make your game look like it has way more FPS than it actually has uh, much smoother and better so yeah but I keep it disabled for Zitor, uh, virtual super resolution disabled, uh, GPU scaling disabled, scaling mode I like to keep it for panel and don't touch these other ones. So yeah, then you go to video, in here you will want to not touch anything, you will keep your video profile to a default and demo mode disabled. You will want to, s then you will want to skip hotkeys, accounts and devices and then go straight to general. So in here the only thing important is this, animation and effects. This will make a drastic, uh, uh, you know, visual uh, quality if you keep it enabled, but if you keep it disabled, it will make your effects look and animations look much, uh, much worse, uh, but it will kind of give you, uh, not kind of, but it will give you a FPS boost if you really need it, but if you don't need it, I suggest you keep this enabled because it really makes a big difference on your uh, quality overall. So what I like to do here is actually disable the in-game overlay also because you don't really need it. I don't use it. So yeah, I just go ahead and disable that. So yeah, this is pretty much what you will want to know for this video. Uh, what I would like uh, to for you to do also is go ahead and, and type game mode. So yeah, go to the game mode and make sure you have game mode off because for AMD graphics cards, uh, most for most of them, having game mode off actually makes a big difference uh, 
a big difference game mode should not be uh, used when you have an amd graf uh, graphics card so yeah this is pretty much all the video i hope you guys enjoyed it uh, if you if it really make you a big difference uh, tell me in the comments below because for me it has a huge uh, impact you know for example here I have 150 FPS and 7 M MS uh, input you know lag but uh, I don't really have this FPS I have like 300 or 4 400 in competitive actually I really have that FPS trust me but in here is because I've played in a server where there's like uh, 30 people and because of the uh, traffic it gives me less FPS so yeah I really I really get uh, 300 to 400 FPS so if it made a difference on you let me know in the comments below uh, and yeah this is pretty much the whole video uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it like comment subscribe and peace